Hey guys, uh, so this is just a couple of, well, a few examples that we're going to go through on the conversion of units. Um, so uh, we'll just go through each one of these questions. Um, let's get started. So the first question we have here is changing uh, 3450 millimeters um, and converting this into meters. Uh, the first thing that we need to know is the conversion between millimeters and meters and that is that in one meter um, there is 1,000 millimeters. So we want to change uh, 3450 millimeters into meters and we know that in one meter um, there is going to be 1,000 millimeters. So one way we can um, we can solve this question is using the elimination method. So we have um, 3450 millimeters and we can multiply this um, by 1 and this is by um, a special kind of 1 and this is where we've got one th uh, the millimeter unit on the bottom, the meter unit in the top and we place values which are equivalent to each other. So we know that one meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. Um, so here the millimeter units will cancel. We are left with the units of the meter and then we can deal with the um, numbers here. So 3450 times 1 divided by 1,000 uh, we get 3.45 and then the units we're left with is the meter. So that solves the first question. Uh, for the second question, we have express 750 uh, grams in kg. All right, so 750 grams, we want to represent this in kg. So one thing we need to know here is that there in one kilogram uh, there is 1,000 uh, grams. Or you could say that the kilo prefix means times a thousand. All right, so over here we can write down three, four, sorry, we can write down 750 grams. We want to multiply by a number where we have the grams unit on the bottom and the kilogram unit on the top. And we want these two numbers to be the same. Uh, so what I mean is the number on the top, 1 kg, is equal to 1,000 grams. The grams units will cancel, and we can deal with the unit numbers. So 750 times 1 divided by 1,000, we get 0 0.75. And the unit that we're left with is the kilogram. Okay, uh, third one. So the third question is express 25 uh, tons in kg. So for this, we need to know how many kgs there is in a ton. So in one ton, there is 1,000 kilograms. So we're assuming that this is the metric ton. All right, so uh, we'll do the same uh, process here, except, well, actually, no, we'll use a different method. So these two, we used the elimination method. This one here, we'll use the substitution method. We know that one ton is equal to 1,000 kgs, so we can take this 1,000 kgs and directly replace it into this value here. So this is the substitution method. Um, so here, we'll go 25. And now instead of tons, we'll write 1,000 kg. So times 1,000 kg. Um, go 25 times 1,000, we get 25,000. And the unit is kg. So that's the third one. All right. Um, in the next video, uh, we'll go through um, the solution of the remaining uh, questions. Uh, thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next video.